Hello, my name is Dr. Hunt, and today I would like to discuss with you how to simply and effectively clean your dog's or cat's ears out in the face of an external ear infection. External ear infections are a very common condition that we see in dogs and cats today. As a matter of fact, it's one of the most common reasons for which we have complaints from our clients. To effectively clean your dog or cat's ears out, I believe a basic understanding of the anatomy and physiology is important. This diagram illustrates the normal anatomy of a dog's ear. A cat's ear follows the same structure. The external ear is everything from the eardrum outward. There are three main structures to the external ear. The first structure is the cartilage portion of the ear, or the floppy part of the ear. We call that the ear pinna. The pinna transitions into the vertical ear canal that changes into the horizontal ear canal. The horizontal ear canal stops at the eardrum. All three structures, the horizontal and vertical ear canal, as well as the ear pinna, are coated with a layer of skin or epidermis. That skin has cells in it that secrete earwax. Earwax is an important aspect of the normal external ear's physiology. The skin produces earwax at the base of the horizontal ear canal. When debris and hair fall down into the ear canal, it sticks to that earwax, forming a, a, a ball of wax. That ball of wax gradually works its way out of the ear canal to the point that your dog or cat feels a tickling sensation. They shake their head and that ball of wax is removed from the ear itself. In an infected ear, you may see swelling of the lining of the ear canal, decreasing the diameter of the ear canal, and inflammation of the skin lining the ear canal. With that inflammation, those cells that secrete earwax become hyperactive and they secrete more and more earwax coating the entire ear canal. To effectively treat an external ear infection we would like to apply a topical medication to the site of infection which is the skin lining the ear canal. As you can see when you have a coating of earwax topical medication becomes a problem. And that is the reason why cleaning the ears out effectively is so important to successfully treat an external ear infection. Once that earwax is removed, you can then apply the topical medication directly to the site of infection. I have brought Darwin with me today to illustrate how to effectively and simply clean out your dog or cat's ears in five simple steps. <clears throat> Come here. Darwin's ear has the same anatomy that we've already discussed. The floppy part of the ear is the ear pinna. The vertical ear canal starts at the base of the ear pinna and extends to this knot right here. The horizontal ear canal goes from that knot straight into the base of the skull. With one hand, you can hold the ear pinna with gentle traction straight above their head. With the other hand, you can take your ear cleaning solution and fill the ear canal up to the point of just overflowing. Once you have filled the ear canal with ear cleaning solution, you can then take your hand down onto the vertical ear canal, follow it to the horizontal ear canal, and start massaging the ear. Start at the base of the ear canal and work your way out to the ear pinna. As you're massaging the ear canal, you will see the ear solution work up and down in the ear canal. You may also see waxy debris start to break apart. Once you are done massaging the ear canal, simply step back and let your dog or cat shake that liquid out of their ear along with the waxy debris and buildup. Once they are done shaking, you can then expose the ear pinna and see the waxy debris build up on the ear pinna. With a cotton ball, you can remove that waxy debris. What we don't want you to do is use a Q-tip and stick that Q-tip in the vertical ear canal. 
When you stick a Q-tip in the vertical ear canal and attempt to remove earwax, what you do is push that earwax deeper into the ear canal, causing a compact ball of wax down at the base of the ear. Once you have effectively removed the earwax from the ear canal, you can then apply a topical medication directly to the source of infection. I hope that today's instructional video has been helpful in helping you be able to successfully and simply clean your dog's or cat's ears out in a home environment. Depending on the infection, the type of solution and medication that you'll be using in your dog, your veterinarian may be recommending different frequencies of cleaning the ears out. I recommend that you discuss with your veterinarian those details. Thank you for your time.